Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Oh no. Murphy 540 was also a star of destiny. The truth is known. Let's give shout outs to people that have followed recently. So we have Solari Diandol. I said that right. Recent follow. And we also have Diego the Penguin. So I guess from the standpoint of Wild Arms 2, You're wide open. I, I think I'm done with the bonus bosses chat. I, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> I'm like, I, we technically did see all of them to my knowledge, unless there's something for completing the last two. So I'm ready to just try beating the game at this point, unless something super crazy happens with my equipment. I'm like, I'm good. I'm gonna go with I'm good for now. Seventh Moon, yeah, that's a good summary. You're wide open. That is not the right scene, my bad. Pause the music and let's proceed. You're wide open. See that? You get shouted out twice because I switch scenes. Twice is cool. So, yeah, I guess we'll just do the final couple dungeons. I, I think playing Chrono Trigger really put this game in a very sharp contrast for me, where I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think it's me. <laughs> was like, I, I was having a lot of fun with the Chrono Trigger bosses. This game's bonus bosses? Mm, they're a choice. So definitely look forward to more Chrono Trigger bosses in the upcoming weeks on Tuesdays, Thursdays. But this game, I'm like, uh, we've seen enough. <laughs> it it had its time to do something different. It chose not to. That's the, that's the game's fault at that point. Now the question more is... Where specifically should I go next? Do I need to do any cleanup here? Yeah, there's been enough Seventh Moon. It's true, it did use it quite often. I don't think I need to do anything else in the Shining Garden. One thing I'm a little sad about, I really wish this marked dungeons on the world map. Because after you take a break from the game, it really is just like... I really don't remember where some of it is. So I think I had to do the Long Walk of Shame. So I think, yeah, that should be my destination. So we'll have one more chance at getting a super item. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, oh well. <laughs> this is pretty much what it comes down to. Not in my playthrough, I suppose. Yeah, the sad thing is you can't use her uh, instrument in order to force encounters. So there's not even like a super easy way to do it, unless I'm doing, like... No, because there's not really even an encounter up spell that I can use, like, in the other game. Anyway, I'll just skip the encounters if I can. Oh, I got baited again. Big path. We can be skipping those encounters, chat. Get out of here. Like, we, we got a game to beat. We're fine. I am really surprised I've been able to get away with that many encounter skips. The game has not punished me yet. Okay, you know what? That was actually pretty smooth, chat. When you mash the confirm button to ignore encounters... That was like the smoothest journey we've had so far. Although I'm gonna take it somewhat slow here, because I don't feel like falling off the stairs. Okay, let's see. Did... Oh no. <laughs> Chat, my short-term memory is fried. I don't remember which is the real path. Can I can I do can I cheese it? Oh no, it forces you. Okay, I was curious if I could cheese it. Is it possible to just walk the pixel line and not choose? No, you have to choose. That's unfortunate. Oh wait, oh right. You have to teleport on this one. Which is kind of mean to be honest. That the breakaway bridge is solved by teleporting. Kind of rude. 
Because you think it would be like a puzzle which side you walk on the bridge. And like, no, no, we're just going to make you fall regardless. Oh, wild arms. Hopefully I don't have to do the weekday puzzle. Okay, we don't have to do the weekday puzzle. Okay, the game remembered. That's good. For those that missed it last time, when I had to... When I briefly visited this dungeon in order to go further, I had to figure out the order of the switches to hit. And the only thing I figured out from needing to hit seven of them is that one of them was Thor. So I thought Thursday. And from there, I, I worked through the days of the week. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about that anymore. It looks like the puzzle is remained solved, so we're just getting back up to where we were before. Perfect. Yeah, I, I really think when, when, when we go to do the discussion at the end of the playthrough in depth, I really want to bring up the Chrono Trigger bosses and just how much stronger they were. And I think my issue with like the enemy parts Chrono Trigger did what I thought that they should have done, which I thought was funny, because we were having a conversation about, in this game you could pop enemy parts for more XP and items, but a lot of the times it just makes the boss fight almost unwinnable, which is not really all that fun, as opposed to, like, weakening the boss. Like, there's a couple of examples where it did do that, but pretty much all the optional bosses, it was just kind of like a death sentence. And not all that fun to deal with. Do you really not teleport? What a troll. I guess that works. Uh, did I need to do anything over here? There was a door over here. That comes to mind when you hear that sound is wow it's wow wow yeah, i could kind of see it all right so we didn't open the door so like here here's a problem i have chat this kind of stuff camera angle is not this game's friend like when you look at this you can't tell if the door is open or not like even how we were approaching it before unless i leave it at like an angle i couldn't see that the door was actually closed right like if i'm here Oh, I barely see it. I barely see it in the transition that there's a locked door there. Oh, game. Oh, no trigger you or not. I guess we did not complete this puzzle fully. So what do we have to do over here? Okay, the flare gun. There's something I had to do aside from use the flare gun here. No. Was there something in the other room I needed to flare a gun that I just didn't observe? Oh, maybe that crystal up there is how you deal with it. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm not blaming the game on that one. I just forgot about the flare gun's existence briefly. The game suffers a lot from early 3D issues. Yeah, I, I agree for sure. I I definitely like the quasi 3D that was in Wild Arms 1 a lot more than the actual 3D. I fully agree there's like a ton of camera issues that make it a lot more annoying than it should be. I think coupled with the fact that a lot of the dungeons just aren't designed to use like the rad blades at all. So it just feels weird that we get like a, a nice movement option, but like 90% of the time a straight path will just take you off a cliff. And there's not even, like, a wall to rub against most of the time. Like, what am I going to rad blade in here, like, over to that corner where I don't need to do anything? So, I definitely feel like it, it was hurt very much so in the transition process. I'm hoping in, like, if we do decide to play the later Wild Arms, that they think it over a little bit more. I don't know what my goal is. What is my goal? Do I have to go for that staircase? Is that my goal? I 
Can I whoosh that far? <laughs> Let's find out. I've whooshed where no man has whooshed before. Like, it's a real 3D environment, but it looks like isometric extra spikes in an actual 3D monster who messes with things. Yeah, I think part of the problem, too, is, like, this is where one of the few times I would say I would actually just like a fixed camera for the most part. Because, unfortunately, a lot of the time, I just can't see far enough in front of me. Like, I feel like that's my problem with this game a lot. Oh. Like, here's an example. I thought this was going somewhere. <laughs> that's why I went over here. Because I couldn't see from where I was standing that this, there's nothing to do here. So where do you want me to go? I could go this way if I need to. I look like Code Lyoko. So is my real goal that staircase that I could almost see from the entrance? I think? So maybe it wants me to go to the blue one? Like, I feel like it's not so much that, you know, I don't understand 3D. It's more like I just legitimately can't see the whole room to make a decision here. It just feels like I'm adding, like, an unnecessary step to, like, what is otherwise pretty straightforward. I'm gonna step on this again to make them close up. So, I guess... I'm assuming it will not let me teleport through this, and I need to separate these. Okay, that's fair. So now we're at the puzzle portion of it. So I could go go back to the other one if I want to. So... If I fall off here, what would the game even do? It's like, I could go to the other platform, but I'm not sure what that will do for me. See, now we're at the puzzle portion of the room, where now I think I know where it wants me to go, versus <laughs> in general. Because I could go back over there, but I don't think I can reach that anymore. Do something like this if I want to reset them, for example. Yeah, because that's two blocks away. But there's not much I could do with that. Alright. Okay. there's anything else I could do. Let me get another position in the room so I could see where the rest of the blocks are. You see what I mean? Like, I can't see where the blue pieces are necessarily from where I'm at. So I could choose to fall off in the void, and I think I will. So... If my goal is to get to the staircase on the left, which, again, is not super obvious when you're at the beginning of the puzzle. How do I do this in a way that I could reach the other platform? So, like, in theory, you could do stuff like come down here, and this would activate the platform for you. what I need to do is do this to keep it like this and that should work I'm also like very hesitant because if you're not aware it's very easy to fall off of things in this game oh will not let me step on the switch again um I should be able to make a diagonal I don't know if the game wants me to do this but I think I can make this Nope. Barely. I, I fidgeted too far. So I think the goal is to kind of leave it in a sense that I can potentially cross back over. So like if I'm like this, I could get back up to this platform if I need to. So I think the goal is to leave it like in this position then. Now that I know where the goal is. So the only thing I have to do is fix the blue piece. But the question is, is there a way to do that and then also come back off of that blue piece? 
Because right now, if I do this... I think that will give me a means to come back. That should line up. Yeah, that lines up. So I think this is what the game wanted me to do. <laughs> 3D was scaring me there. I'm not going to lie. I was like, uh... hope that's correct. See, I think what really weirds me out, and I think this is what Murphy's also referring to, like, when I see him standing like this, I feel like I'm looking diagonal and not to the right, and that really weirds me out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, no, no, no. If I tap right, I want to see his feet facing to the right. I don't want to see him looking at an angle. I think that causes, like, a lot of undue hesitation due to the uh, sprite issue. So, yeah, I think all we have to do now is go back here. Now we can meet this place. I'm just going to center myself a little more just in case. And like, again, like, I don't think this was like a hard puzzle, but this is another example where it just felt like I was fighting the camera a lot. Like if it had just been pulled back or if I saw more from like a third person, I would have figured that puzzle out like twice as fast. Because like I couldn't even tell what staircase it wanted me to go to. Like I can't even see the puzzle from here. Right? Like it, it's like... Only on this specific area do I see it, because it's higher up. Crazy. We're gonna take a smooth walk through here. All we gotta do is reach the end of the game. Oh boy. What is all this? We have blocks and blocks and blocks. Can I just flare gun so I can see this room easier? Fine. We have all of these. I don't think I could get through that. Yeah, okay. If I use if I use the hold button, it doesn't do anything. Is there anything on the side I should be aware of before going to the next room? Does the position of the torches matter? Take a look at the center. There's a kind of like the dice number five, and then around the five, there's the four torches. I don't know if that's relevant. Oh, or not. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I don't know if the puzzle was just use flare gun. Oh no, maybe it's a memory puzzle. So, okay. Oh. I now understand the puzzle. Ice will remove the fire, right? Okay. So we have to get the four fires, but I'm not allowed to shoot diagonally. So it should be something like fire, fire. We have them in sync. And then now it doesn't matter what I do. So, I don't know if they thought the puzzle was going to be this easy, but I'm just going to do this. I thought it was going to have to line up some tricky shots, but no, this should work. I didn't think the boxes were going to come back up. I probably should have thought about that. Have I memorized the order? Yeah, this this is the order. Uh. Wait, hold on. What does this say? Shadow desires his master's form proof that they are a pair. Oh, whatever. I, I don't need to puzzle him for that. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, What's the best way to not mess this up? I think I'm going to put this torch out, so I don't have to worry about it. 
Okay, we, we solved the puzzle. I was just checking to see what the other thing said in case it was a hint for some item, but no. If we do this, now I can just walk along the wall here and leave. Be straightforward. So I don't know why this puzzle was deeper than the other ones. Honestly, I thought the other puzzles in the other rooms were a lot more challenging, quote unquote. The Thursday one should have been about where it was. This one should have probably been higher. Oh, we actually there. Oh, we meet, we've met a boss chat. It's a powerful pressure. Here it comes. All right, what boss are we fighting? He's big and blocky. Saucer Organism Grodin. So I like the little boss intros, but I feel like most of the AI, sadly, will just be single attack, powerful AoE attack, status ailment. Do you have mul- I mean, I could pop your claw. I don't, I don't think I'm that worried. Sure, let's see if you're weak to, uh, let's use fire. Maybe it's weak to fire. Or lightning. Uh, let's try lightning. It seems kind of crustacean-esque. Let's see what it does. Nice critical. So we horribly outspeed this boss. Oh, it was its weakness. How much damage will this do, is the question. Oh, that's it? Oh, Chad, I think this is GG. <laughs> if that's all you can do at this point in the game, I'm not healing after that. Get out of here. We beat most of the bonus bosses. I think it's over. Rip Grodin. Oh wow, it really did die that quickly. So we might be a little strong. 18,000 experience. I'm glad I didn't use a card for that. Thesaurus level. Nice. <laughs> dead already? Oh yeah, definitely dead already. That got deleted. A long road ahead. Let's hurry up, everyone. Yeah, damn, that was fast. I was gonna say, you know you're overpowered when you do the optional quests and uh, the, bo the boss only got one attack. If I had just attacked the boss's core, the boss actually would have died in one turn. That's actually sad. Anyway, I'm not super worried about any of the encounters here. I guess there are technically the insta-kill enemies. Th those could annoy me. Okay, so we have a red door here. Do you want me to hit it with fire? No. Do you want me to kick it? No. Do you want me to earthquake? Oh, I, I attempt to use the wall, of course. Silly me, chat. That's how you destroy that. You are Baylors and Elbuckies. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh, that's right, I put it at the top of the list. Silly me. I remember now. I think this is over. Look. Oh. oh, that's right. I re Everybody outspeeds. Hello now. That's so sad. I should have just told them to defend. The fight would have been over sooner. See, this game would have benefited big time from Chrono Trigger's battle speed speed up. I'm not gonna lie. I think about 40% of my complaints would be gone if I could put it at like combat speed five, <laughs> let's see, or, or one, I guess technically a Chrono Trigger. I do not like sitting through long animations. That's why I purposely avoid using certain spells. So this isn't so much a puzzle as much as it's like, yeah, cause I can't even like stand on this door to do anything cool. Oh wait, hold on. There is a staircase over there. Wait, how would I have been able to do that unless it respawns later? Hmm. Yeah, it's like I couldn't... 
I can't go higher than I am currently. I can clearly see a staircase. Unless there's another way into this room that I can't see due to camera angle. Is there? So it's a staircase that comes up here. Then there's a two gap. So unless I respawn the wall, and if I came this way, maybe it respawns? I don't have to fight this, I don't think. I'm not going to. Okay, it does respawn. But how do I cross this gap? To go to the other side. Oh, oh, right, right, right. We'll walk our way through here. Oh, that was it? That was the reward for the puzzle? You know what? Why do I even bother? <laughs> Just like, I don't need- I don't need healing items at all. I was kind of hoping more for equipment at this point in the game. Actually, speaking of which, we still haven't- we haven't gotten, like, super armor or anything still. Hmm. Let's see what doing a bomb and a switch does to the room. Okay, that makes sense. You just lower it. So there's blocks under the other ones I might not be able to deal with. Is there a reason for me to go to the other side of the room? It looks like I could just walk to the exit. Am I hallucinating? Like, why would I go this way? Is this a puzzle fail? Can I just go this way? Oh, there- oh, there's a slightly raised platform. Oh, okay, you- you got me. Can I just go diagonal, though? Question. Barely. Barely can't make that. I'm still curious if it's skippable, though. Yeah, that is a puzzle fail. <laughs> Chat, can we have a round of applause? I'll, uh, like, whatever. <laughs> I I think I know what the game wanted me to do, but you know, listen, Chad. If if they if that is not the first thing testers check for, that's not my fault. That's not my fault, Chad. I could skip that puzzle. <clears throat> tell tell them to do better, <laughs> and I'll do your puzzle. So if I get to the upper path, oh. This doesn't lead to the upper path. Wait, how do I get to the upper path then? I don't see ways to raise these. Alright, so if I teleport precisely, this should work. Um, so what does this do for me? I can go to the sides. I think if I go up... ...and come over... ...where does this take me compared to the other one? I think this will work. No, well, I mean, like, I can exit, but... Oh, oh, there's stairs over there. Okay, I was like... I was trying to follow through, because again, like, the camera angle makes it kind of hard to ascertain. What? Why didn't that work? What? The camera angle, come on, that looked like that I should have landed there. Game, please. Alright, I've centered myself a little better this time. Why did the other one fail? Am I missing something? Like, wh why why couldn't I do that? Do I just have to be slightly more to the left? Well, that's ridiculous. I don't even think I did anything wrong, quote-unquote. I just got 3D janked. I swear if he fell in that hole, he'd be so tilted. Uh, I guess I'll retrieve this, but it's probably going to be a very disappointing item. Speaking of very disappointing item... You know, that that's where, like, they should be sprinkling little boosts, chat, to get me excited. Yeah, big, big oops that I skipped their puzzle. 
I don't even consider myself good at puzzles. I'm quite bad at them, actually. Oh, oh, what is this? Is this pick a path? Are you seriously making me pick a path? You are, you are a disgusting individual. Who hurt you? Developers of this dungeon, who hurt you? I physically can't tell which path is the progress. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Goddamn pick a path. Fine, I'll pick this path. <laughs> screw you, screw you wild arms too. I should not be playing pick a path in the final dungeon. Nonsense. Actual nonsense. <laughs> Why chat? Like, like, think about, like, dungeon design in other games. Like, can we have another chat about, like, you know, there's just something slightly off about this game? I request, if we ever play another RPG, regardless if it's SNES, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, whatever. Please do not make me have another Pick a Path dungeon. I don't miss those. <laughs> Those, those, those should have been a bygone thing in like the 90s. We, we in the enlightened 2000s era should not force players to play Pick a Path. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna do all of this and still not know if this is what I need to do. So like where, like where allegedly is the item potentially it wants me to go to? Are all these Pick a Paths real? Okay, so I don't see anything that needs me to be on this side, so I think I chose somewhat correctly. If there's no item up there, then it's an arbitrary choice that I still don't like. Still gonna shake my head. Alright, uh, let's just defend. These are the enemies that can insta-kill me, which to be fair, they have a skull on their face, so at least I have a pretty easy visual tell. Unfortunately for them, I am quite powerful, and I care not for their HP. Thank you, Power of Hello, making me skip these encounters. Yeah, I just... I'm not a fan of, like, when things like camera or, like, game mechanics restrict information. Especially if the choice is arbitrary. Reminds me a lot of the puzzle of President Chamber's Tower from Final Fantasy VII. I honestly don't remember the puzzles that well in Final Fantasy VII. Like, I remember the tower, but more for the story events in it. Like, climbing the ele- or climbing the stairs versus taking the elevator, or like, motorbike chase scene, or like, the horror movie vibes it had once you got to the top. Everything in between is kind of a blur. Like, was there- Oh, what? What is that? Oh, chat, there is an item arbitrarily in the pick a path. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. What are they thinking, chat? What is this? I almost feel like I should activate Twitch bets. Chat, do you think it's going to be an Ambrosia? <laughs> Let, let's, let's make a prediction. Will this be an Ambrosia? It, it has a high chance. Oh, wait, I could do more than one. At oh, can I do more than one bet? No, it's not letting me. Yes, no. Oh, I can actually choose it. Okay, Ambrosia. Mega Berry. Other. I was gonna say, other is the long shot one. I think it's probably gonna be Ambrosia, honestly. I don't really know, though. What will this item be? There you go. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Enjoy your prediction. Oh, we're, we're gonna check it out. We're making it an official prediction. Have fun. I... I... It would be funny if this was the first real item in the entire dungeon. Who will be the brave soul that picks other? Will anybody pick Mega Berry? We did see Mega Berry earlier. The tr actually, the big troll is if it's not even a useful item, if it gives me War Respite. That, that would actually be spiteful. <laughs> That would be the most spiteful choice it could give me and still not be useful. 
Oh, we're actually at... Oh, I thought there was another battle in between. Well, we'll let the poll close in just a little bit. We're going to end submissions just about now. Can't believe in. Oh, it was Mega Berry. Chat got scammed. Actual scam. It would have been funny if it was War Respite. I wouldn't put it past the dungeon to do that. That's just the equivalency of like a cure-all. I feel like I'm going to go into hysterics. <laughs> what the hell is this chat? What am I witnessing? Like, what? Why? Should have bet more? Mm. What is this? So, remember chat how I said I don't like the fact that we're entering in and I can't see enough of the room to make a decision? What the heck is this? So, can't go this way. Can't go this way. I am assuming I can only take the left path. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Chris. You're witnessing some terrible dungeon design. I, I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's this enemy. Uh, I don't remember what your weakness was. I guess we'll slowly go through the elements, chat, because why not? We should probably learn this thing's weakness to kill it quicker. Might have been wind. But we're going to go through the elements one by one. Or it might die due to critical. We'll see. Hope you're feeling better, Chris. You got some rest. You're gonna need it. Oh, we will never discover its weakness, apparently. I know it's strong enough to survive Valkyrie. So that's why it's not worth using. Oh, come on. Come on. What, what is this? Forced Encounters. Mmm. Chat knows I love Forced Encounters. That's like my third favorite gimmick. Mmm. I love Unavoidable Encounters. Especially with games with slower combat systems. Mmm. Mmm. Like a little, little, little extra spice in the day. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, we're, we're done with this. So we don't go straight because, again, like, here's an example. If I were looking at this, okay, so I can see both of them do this. Oh, so I got to go, where are we going with this? I guess up to the top. I guess this is just a stat check to make sure you didn't skip every encounter to get to this point in the game, I guess. I mean, fortunately, I'm strong enough that I could just do this, which should be slightly faster than normal attacking. And if I do the critical animation, it is definitely faster than the critical animation, especially critical animation times two. Oh, I didn't even check to see if there was some item in this room. Should I even bother? <laughs> I feel like the answer is just don't even bother at this point. Oh wait, new enemy, Sunflare. Uh, we'll see if he survives. Nope. Well, he has joined the cast of irrelevant enemies, chat. <laughs> What does he do? What are his weaknesses? Who cares? Get Valkyrie. Alright, before we go too much further, was there a chest or something up here that I should be aware of? I don't see one. I'm just double checking. There's like no reason to backtrack into this room. Good, okay. I guess this room is designed to punish people that clear it and then need to leave the dungeon for some reason. <laughs> I 
We're basically doing the equivalency of spamming Luminaire and Chrono Trigger right now. Except we have unlimited MP due to how the game system works, so good luck enemy surviving this. I was gonna say, Chris, you didn't miss too much. I did cheese the puzzle, though. <laughs> I I absolutely skipped a very arbitrary puzzle. Nothing of interest was lost. <laughs> so, chat, remember how I said before some dungeons just feel like they're puzzles for the sake of puzzles? Oh no, are you are you seriously gonna are you seriously gonna make me loop around this entire room to get to this point? Why? Game, please. Okay, I left enough of the doors. I think we'll be fine. If I fail or fall off due to camera angle, I'm gonna feel so sad. Yeah, I did not fall off. That's the important thing. Oh, I could have rad bladed there as a joke. I, I had one opportunity, Chad. I could have rad bladed. I didn't believe, though. There should be another boss. I don't think I even bother healing. Wait, what was the point of this room? Is there something in hidden in here that I should be aware of? No? Oh, oh, okay. Hopefully I don't need to see something on the walls. I guess if I use the flare gun, I can peek on puzzles. Kick <laughs> a camera angle kind of sucks normally. I don't know if that's an intended use. That would help with trying to see what the game actually wants me to do. It does help a little bit. Chan, I'm gonna like to just ask you a serious question. What is the what is this nonsense we're looking at? Why? What, is, what are the point of those? It, is one of these housing an exit that I should be aware of? What is this? I mean, I really don't want to play Pick a Door. If one of these is a real door, chat, we're going to do the 3D cheat. Right, I don't see anything on this side. If there's hidden stuff in here, I'm going to be so annoyed. What is that suspiciously? Oh no. Oh no, that is a door. What do you mean? Oh no, are you really going to make me pick a path? Do I have to? I don't have to. Uh... There's a mysterious door here. Chat, let, let's have a quick vote. Do I even bother doing this? I don't know which one is the real one. Honestly, this is one of those times where I honestly do not care if people tell me which one is the real door. <laughs> like, this is one of those few times where I'm going to be like, like, it feels like a waste of time to do this. So far, not a single treasure has been worth it in this dungeon, aside from Flare Gun. Like, it is truly astoundingly terrible. I'll take chat's opinion. Do you want to see me do this? So we've defeated a boss. Yeah, poor Grodin got absolutely dumpstered. Chat saying not really. Hmm.
Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Kill everything. Oh, not for kill everything. He also got to laugh at the lizard pods. You have no investment left. That's true. I feel the same way, honestly. Is actually before we go further. Alright, so I'm gonna skip the doors. Is there just like a Is there anything I could just zap to blow this up? That's the uh, my only other thought. That might be worth checking. To help me spot play I spy chat with the 3D. Is there a lightning bolt symbol somewhere that I'm just not seeing? Before we go further. Don't see anything there. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Unless it's like higher up. I would not put past this game, to be honest. Which dungeon is this? Oh, this is Spiral Tower. We're like the end of the game. Better even put it behind a force encounter. Last door on the other side. Right side. Are you talking about over here? Chat trying to guide me somewhere. So, okay, let me go this side then. If you're talking about this, I can't open this. This is what I'm saying to open. It needs something to open it. I just don't see what it wants me to hit. I'm not doing the force encounters. I'm willing to look around a little longer though. So that's about it. I was just curious if something was up here that I didn't see. As I said before, I wouldn't put it past the game to do something ridiculous. Yeah, I don't see what's it, whatever's here. Oh well, I'm gonna move on. I don't feel like playing I Spy with the electric bolt. Yeah, there's probably an electric bolt somewhere in that room. I just, I don't know where it is. You get this far and still have people get in my way. Guardian Monster Manifesto. Hmm. I mean, what do you have? You got the knees. <laughs> Can I just Valkyrie you? I'm still not really gonna bother healing. Until I see this boss do some real damage, I'm not convinced this will be a real fight. Yeah, if chat wants to guide me, I could turn around later. Oh, you better not insta-kill me. As Ashley's ultimate arm. I guess we could take a look. I have a feeling this boss is not long for this world, chat. If something tells me. I would not be surprised if I kill it here, to be honest with you. Most of these bosses seem to have 8 to 10,000 or less health. So it might honestly die here, depending on how the number is rounded. Unmodified spell, double question mark.
Oh, you tried. Oh, we already broke you. Oh, you're done. I'm, I'm gonna disrespect you in melee with hello. I'm not even bother using a spell. It should be GG. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that, that's what I thought, chat. Get out of here. None of you have more than 10k health. Don't lie to me. Another 24,000 experience. Hello level? Oh, that's unfair. Hello already unkillable, chat. Huh? This is strange. What could this feeling be? Feels like I'm near a guardian. Right, I'll turn around for chat. Sure, if chat wants to guide me, I, I don't care at this point. <laughs> we're, we're at the end of the game. It, it doesn't matter. It, it's not like I need assistance on these bosses. We're cool. So... Chat, so we saw the door. Second black symbol from the northeast corner. So... My brain is thinking, silver... Silver is north, right? <laughs> My brain... See, this is where, like, I, as somebody that does not actively stare at a compass, know that it's, it either points north-south. I'm assuming silver is north. I barely use compasses. Second black wall. Uh. So I should just be able to... Actually, it's not even worth swapping. Alright. We're gonna just briefly heal, and then I'm gonna attack next turn. Oh, hello, I was over 4,000 health finally. Nice. You can prepare to attack all you want. You're not getting another turn. Yeah, it's just like one of those things where like, honestly, I really don't remember. Like, it's just something I've never really had a, a need to look at before. Like, I, I've i owned one. Oh, it's weakness is earth. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... It's one of those things where, like, all they had to do was make it so that... I don't see an electric symbol here. That makes me sad. Alright, let's, let's look up the compass, Chad. Let's learn in real time. I've already forgotten what they look like. Then I gotta find the style of compass. Rather than it just telling me. Oh, red is north? Oh, I did the opposite then. Good to know, I guess. But then it'll be this one. See, this is where... Okay, so chat, when I play other games, let it be known. This is why I don't like it when my true north reorients. Like, what would have helped me a lot more from, like, a navigational sense is if I had a compass that was static in the, in the upper right-hand corner, and then I saw on, like, a mini-map what direction I was facing. I would very much rather have that in terms of game design, and a lot of games do do that. Where, like, I could be facing any direction on the minimap, but the minimap is always oriented to face north. You know what I mean? It's it, Maybe it's a preference thing, but I have never liked it when the stuff rotates with you. Whenever that's an option in a video game, I just hard skip it. Aw, uh, yeah, that is pretty trashy. Take your head, chat. Oh, do I have to shoot it from... The stairs? Too high up. I felt kind of inconveniencing, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sure, let's go collect the weapon just to say that we got it. We'll move on. What 
What pray tell is this weapon? Rising Nova. Rising Nova is the bayonet cartridge for use by Bashley. We don't even use weapons anymore. You know what? I find that very ironic. Like the whole th the whole gimmick of Wild Arms is that you get like all these guns, and in this game they're like so useless outside the beginning of the game. Like think about it. What was the last time I even really bothered using these guns? over just building meter or like using mini carrots to go to the super form. I feel like this game has a lot of conflicting systems. A lethal attack combining shooting and cutting is delivered to a single enemy. It's just like one of those things where it's just like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel very well thought out. Like it feels very experimental, which is not a bad thing. Spent, killed the boss in two turns and spent 30 minutes opening one door. I think that's the true Wild Arms experience. <laughs> that's a good summary right there, to be honest with you. We learned red <laughs> We did learn red means north. I think I briefly remember that earlier when we were in the nonsense dungeon. Or I might have assumed silver was north, to be honest. Yeah, I was actively Googling chat. Let it be known. Yes, the red end of a compass needle always points north, while the white or black points south. Wait a minute. What in the world is this? It's like an ocean, but something's different. The Saurus dot dot dots. It's a guardian. Oh, is this, this the mud guardian? This blue mud seems to be one single guardian. How can you tell? I feel it. It is wavelength similar to other guardians. Dramatic pan backwards. Once heard something about a blue sea of mud flowing deep under the bowels of the earth. What do you mean you once heard? That was like an hour ago in this story. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was literally last session. That being that, that being that was the origin of everything. The guardian of mud, glaive like Abel. Oh, the being that, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, like, I like how he said I heard it. It's literally a book in his house, by the way. Irene says the origin of everything. I mean, it's literally right next to him. So the Coupier Bell has been eating the Guardian, the so-called source of life, even advancing on Phil Gaia. Also, why is there no music on this scene? There we go. Let's go, everyone. Get it, Chad. Oh no, bubbles away. Yeah, I feel like this game just has, like, I feel like the beginning of the game was a lot more solid. The end of the game, I feel like none of the mechanics really worked with each other very well. And or you got things, like, hilariously late. Like, I don't think things like armor down should have been 70 in, in MP costs. I think that was an example of a huge mistake for balancing purposes. Oh, boy. And so it begins, chat. I'm going to the left. Oh, you got me. Left is a dead end. Oh, there's a switch here. Um, okay, I rotate these. Regarding minimaps, is actual minimap just a motion detector radar thing that I agree turning is annoying, but in a fast-paced shooter? Uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I would agree with that statement. I'm thinking more like if it shows you the whole map, but you're right. If, it, if it's something like it's zoomed in, that I would agree with. That's totally fair. So we have skull doors where I have to rotate them to do something. But we don't have a clue as to what to do with it yet. I don't think I could do anything with this now. Like, do they have to stare at each other? 
Is this the hint that I'm seeing in the middle? What is going on? Oh, so this path I can go through. I'm skipping all the encounters. I'm, I'm, I'm poo-pooing them. Oh, what? Oh no, is this... You better not make me actually need to face all of these statues one direction. I will get very upset. There were like 12 so far that we passed and rising. Please tell me I do not need every single one of these statues facing a specific direction. I'm going to lose my mind if you want me to do that. Like, there's so many hallways. <laughs> what is this? I can't, I can't tell if I'm being, no. Oh no, Chad, this seems horrible. So there's like four orientations for them. They are at a diagonal angle, but I can't put them diagonal to match what I've been seeing. There seems to be no end to these hallways. Like, do I just arbitrarily rotate these? Like, are, is this the puzzle hint? That I should have one set looking up and... If the others were facing each other, they would be doing opposite directions. Oh no, chat. We are... We are in a dungeon. Oh no. <laughs> Is that the only hint it's going to give me? I have not seen anything to read for further instructions. Oh boy. <laughs> Chat, we might be here a while. Uh oh. We may be in yeah, trouble. Yeah, we are definitely in trouble. There are so many passageways. Um. This is going to be harder than the final boss? Maybe. What is this nonsense? So the guide of who to spoil stuff? Maybe. I just don't even know what my goal is. Like, I, like, I can rotate them, but like, where are they supposed to be facing? Like, I don't, are, are they facing a door? Okay, let, let's let's try to learn in real time. If I turn this skull, will that lock the other door that is multiple rooms away and I can't see? It goes back to my complaint where I'm not given enough information. Okay, so this is permanently here. So maybe this is supposed to be like if I face them at the door specifically, I will make progress. Is this what the hint is for the game? So these are not facing the door, so this should be locked, right? Okay. So if I face them both upwards... The problem is that one rotates more than the other. Oh. Gross. Gross. Wait, did I actually get to the end already? Oh my god. <laughs> Praise be, chat. I, I somehow picked the only door in that entire dungeon that led to the exit. Oh my gosh, chat. Praise be. We're skipping this dungeon. Get out of here. <laughs> I picked the most arbitrary directions possible. We're out of here. This better be the exit. We're out of here. I'm not doing this dungeon. <laughs> Bye, Janna. Holy. There we go, chat. That made up for the other door. We're out of here. <laughs> I can't believe I got through that dungeon in one shot. I can't believe that, chat. That's insane. The statue thing was just for loot, not required for progress. That's fair, I guess. The lane's voice says, so you finally made it here. 
I'm not doing the rest of that dungeon. The voice is villain. Where? Where are you? Show yourself. Can I play the lottery? The Coupier belt was once again trapped in the vessel. The Coupier belt gushed out of the vessel and now Philgaia itself is. Its roots have divided and spread to even the guardian of mud, Glaive Le Gable. At this rate, no matter how much we attack the body, the roots will get energy to endlessly regenerate. First, the three roots extending out from the Coupier belt must be cut and their regeneration stopped. I guess the devs felt bad. That's something. I pray for the safety and success of the arms members. Do this while my will keeps all of the Coupier belt from spilling out of the vessel. Elaine, what's going on? Ashley dot dot dots. All I could do is believe that villain believe what villain told me. It's necessary to cut these three roots to destroy the main body of the Coupier belt. Oh no. You're gonna make me split up? Oh no. Oh geez, chat. What team is it gonna make me beat the final boss with? <laughs> Let's find out, I guess. Let's split the party into four now. Oh no. Separate units will attack each root, and the fourth unit will attack the main body. Um. Do I really have to solo this with Gremlin? I don't think she could do anything. This is not good at all. I'm going to be forced to use her. Oh, man. Well, I can't pick Gremlin here. The question is who I send where. Yeah, this is not good. So it's going to force me to bring, I think, the protagonist to the final boss, which is fair. But being forced to bring Gremlin is so bad. She has, like, no abilities. Oh, jeez. Um, does it really matter? I guess I'll send, like... I guess I should send actually good characters. <laughs> this one is special. So I guess I'll do them in order. Let's send out the Saurus. And then on their own, we'll send Vicky too. And then on their own, who is another character I feel is confident enough? Like, do I think Hello Gremlin is a good final boss team? I guess. Irene's probably gonna be fine solo. I'd rather have a healer for the final boss. Gremlin is just so bad right now. Confirm the assigned roots. I don't know. I just picked an order. Go with this. Be careful. All right, let's go. Why do his eyes not move with the rest of the body? He's really good. Oh, boy. Well... I hopefully have enough- so, if I didn't have enough healing- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I did not purchase a whole bunch of healing... Are you telling me I would have to backtrack out of this entire dungeon just to be able to do this gimmick? Because I don't think there's a shortcut out of here that we've seen so far. We have eight Ambrosias to help get through their routes. I don't think I need it on the main character route. But, oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, at least I'm, like, pretty high level. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What is this? Stop it. Just go to the boss already. On the plus side, hopefully my levels will carry me through this fight. So that... Oh, okay. At least there's no random encounters here. That's like the only... Why? <laughs> Wild Arms, please. Chat, remember how I said it just had stuff for the sake of having stuff? This is an example of what I'm talking about. Oh, I got stuck. That sucks. 
Wow. It's very easy to fall off of this, which is kind of annoying. So I gotta be, like, kind of centered here. I'm gonna take my time, because I really don't feel like falling off. Because it is very easy to fall off in this game. I almost did just then, actually. Why, though? I'm gonna use the crappy healing. Yeah, Vicky 2 should at least be able to solo everything, hopefully. Um, I should probably give her... Probably a holy tablet. Hold on, I just got jealous of Mario, I think so. But let's at least fix her equipment now. So this character will always outspeed the boss, so that's why I was thinking this character would be okay to do solo. I do not want to solo a boss with Gremlin. I'm sure chat could completely understand my reasons for not- <laughs> What is this? Wild Arms, please. Just let me get to the end of the game. Like, stop it. Oh my gosh, this is like semi-nauseating, honestly. Holy. This is trollish. Motion sickness skill check. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. Please don't do that with the camera. I don't normally easily get motion sick, but that room is really bothering me. It is definitely psychological warfare. I mean, it, had, it made me pick Gremlin. The only character I don't want to play with. Terrible. Well... Encroaching parallel universe first route. You're saying that with all this pressure, there's more out there. What? It makes sense. You know what? We're basically fighting Yggdrasil. Let's be real. I guess I'll just punch you. It really matters. We'll be past this con save flashes lights, pretty much. Alright, how much damage are you doing? If you're doing like 4,000 plus, we're done. If you're doing 2,000, it's fine. How much are you doing? Oh yeah, that's fine. We, we could work with that. We at least have our best weapons. I guess the armor was somewhere in that garbage dungeon that we skipped. That's fine. Uh, let's use boost on railgun. Hopefully it's just one shots. One of the only times I'm going to attempt to use the arm, but it can still miss, which is the crappy part. Please hit. There we go. That was fast. We did it. His damage cannot be denied. And sadly, we won't have that for the final boss. It would have been nice, but I absolutely did not want to solo something as Gremlin. I feel like we would be there for like five years. I would basically just build up FP and pray. It would just be such a boring stall game. Now the route goes to troll people in tower. Yeah, pretty much. We're fighting the three elemental lilies from PSO right now. Negotiated resolution is impossible with all this bickering. What? What are they responding to? I don't Did the translators give up chat? What did that what did that mean? Oh dear indeed. What did that even mean? I don't understand. Let's hope you're weak to water. We're gonna water the roots. You know what? You took normal damage, we'll take that. Okay, how much does this do to her? She's the character I'm most concerned about not being able to survive stuff. We upped her magic resistance, if it's magic resistance. It might be. She didn't take that much. So we're doing the thing that is most empowered. I'll do a safety heal. And then I could double cast to kill him next turn. In case he does something unexpected and I don't kill him there. Because he has like 12,000-ish health. 
But it, it's not worth the risk, I really don't think. I should have dual cast and this should end the fight. Oh, he did an attack that did less damage. Oh, okay. yeah. We're gonna do the thing that we have on the boosted one. This should kill. So if we had attacked there, we wouldn't have died because it only did 700. But that didn't kill it, so we would not have killed it had I attacked there. I think that was the right call. This should kill it. Yeah, GG. Oh no, I'm I'm getting Rogue Galaxy vibes from this. Oh no, are we gonna go into our Super Saiyan power form at the end? Are we gonna go true Rogue Galaxy? Am I gonna be forced into a form I barely use in an annoying 1v1? <laughs> Are, are are we go are we dialing it up? We're we're having every party member fights a boss so far. So check that off on your Rogue Galaxy list. Oh no. Okay, so this one might take a little bit of time. She doesn't do a lot of damage, but she should 100% outspeed no matter what. 1000%. Okay. I mean, are we are we going to fight? I mean, I'm assuming we're fighting the Coupier Belt. But then after that, what is the real final boss? Is it the merged form of uh Bill Lane? Is where you gonna fight him directly? Or he could already be merged at that time, I guess. This is how it should be. The sense of woe will be perfect for my exercising evil. <laughs> I feel like I'm not speaking words that make sense. Base ship, seventh moon ship, that's true. Is, it, is he going to go, aha, now I have the power of Lord Blazer. Because this was all a plan to combine the Coupier belt and this to become the ultimate being. Like, is that where we're going with this? Good morning, Kirk. Well, on the plus side, I was going to say short stream because I didn't intend on streaming too long. But we are at what looks like the end of the game. So I think that lines up perfectly for how much time I wanted to reserve. This might be fine. I don't know what that status ailment does. But it might not matter. Oh, I did half damage there. That's unfortunate. I mean, I could War Respite. Oh, now I need to heal. So this is the first character that genuinely needed the items that we had earlier. I know I'm not diseased. I just don't think status ailments come up as often as the game thinks it does. Ooh, uh-oh. Are we in a damage loop with the game? How much are you doing to me? I might need to heal again. Yeah, you're gonna force my hand here. Let's use a better heal. I need to make sure I have at least... This should be fine. So, unfortunately, she, she she seems to have gotten the hardest battle. Um, and she's not really building a lot of meter either. I'm just going to alternate between heal and attacking. So it looks like her damage got halved, which kind of sucks. Because she's also the only character that can't heal. So, rip, I guess. I mean, good thing I have a lot of super heals still. So it's just gonna be heal, attack, heal, attack, heal, attack, and sadly I only do 2k. It seems to only be doing one move. So if I did have immunity to whatever the status ailment is, as I said before, they so rarely come up in this game. Would have been fine. It's gotta be really close to death. I don't really want to risk it in case I'm off with how much it has. So, oh no. I, I have 14 more full heals for a party with a full heal ability. So hopefully next attack kills.
Okay, good. Oh no, why is she here? Tell her to go back, right chat? Tell Cliche to leave. Mary a bold soldier says, It's dangerous here. Hurry and get inside. Your Highness, to come to such a place. This is... This ghastly thing is the battle risking Vilgaia's fate. The battle of the heroes. No, sir. Everyone has weaknesses and frailties. They're humans just like us. They're humans who shed tears and blood. They get hurt and ragged, but still fight. When did, when did he say they weren't this? I feel like she's just kind of inserting her opinion and he didn't ask. It's not a battle of heroes. People just like us fighting. No, we have to fight with them. Okay, but you heard it, chat. Send her to the front line. <laughs> but I am powerless. Fighting is... Let's believe. That'll be our battle. <laughs> wow, okay, there you go. To offer a prayer. Intense feelings always reach the intended. Take notes, chat. Do you have the intense feelings? To one's prayers and goodwill, distance makes no difference no matter how far it is. I feel like she's saying the same thing she just said earlier. I don't want to let go of the hands clasped. What an awkwardly phrased sentence. Osarf says, our support won't reach from here. We need to move closer, Vacant. In my opinion, the power of emotions is simply unrealistic. But to not be able to believe in my friends here and now, that isn't worth, that isn't a world worth. It's not logic. It's my own conclusion. Cliche dot dot dots. Thank you too and hello. Osaris, Irene, and Gremlin. Come back safely. Please, Bashley, fight. And... Anyway. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. Are they going to make me do a puzzle with this team? Hold on, chat. Do we need to have a puzzle bet? Uh, are you going to make me do a real puzzle? Or is it just going to be motion sickness, the game? I'm going to shoot my flare gun in celebration that we're done with that. All right, so Gremlin is uh ultra useless. I don't even know where to begin with this. I did put away my best book, which I think might have been a small mistake. That's fine. Do I really need elven boots at this point? I don't think so. Oh. Is power boost on Thesaurus? Oh, if that is, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't see it. Oops. One of my better accessories is not available. Uh, what's the backup to this? Hmm. That is kind of unfortunate. I, I did- I think I accidentally gave my power boost to the wrong character. Oh well. That shows me for not checking before uh, starting a boss fight. What is this? Are you- are we really puzzling? Chat, this is not, like... <laughs> so chat, let, let's talk a moment a little bit about a thing called pacing. This game does not have pacing. This game has decided, you know what would be really great after you're fighting the brutes and everybody's cheering you on? Why don't you rotate- why don't you rotate pillars like an absolute idiot? <laughs> like, like seriously, like, what other game do you know that does this kind of nonsense other than Wild Arms 2? I feel like it's in a league of its own, and how to ruin pacing in a video game, honestly. So, like... What do you want me to do? 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It rotates the surrounding ones. I might reset the puzzle in a second. I hate it. I, I hate, hate it for sure. I almost made them all face the right way, I think. Only the back row is a little messed up. Although, as I said before, it's kind of hard to tell which is the front and side sometimes. They're all- oh, I made them all face this way. I mean, it was close. Yeah. Alright. Let's reset. So, based off of that... And I just go in the opposite direction and this will work. do puzzles. Ugh. Not quite. So opposite direction didn't... Because I was thinking it would potentially rotate them through. Alright, then I have one more idea. Because I, I think they did actually get fixed for the most part. So if I need to do it that way, I'm going to do the same thing here. The only thing different is I'm going to cut across. No, I'm going to do this. So if I do that... Oh, no, no, no. I actually... Well... Oh, so I just need to rotate it again, then. Oh, so it doesn't matter for this. So let's just do it again, right? I don't think it matters. Oh, unless I had to go in the other order. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I did have it right the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see what to do. I see what to do. That is kind of annoying, though. So we're going to do this again, but what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to do the same order. I should do one... So I'm going to start at the top, so that'll... like So the left side will be done first. The only question is, do I do from bottom to top or top to bottom on this side? Because I don't want to rotate them in between, because that would be too complicated of a solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it here, and we're just going to go around in a big circle. Everything will be facing east again, which is fine, but then I just do it one more time. And that should be the solution. So dumb. Yeah, so the tricky thing is it rotates twice. Like, that was the thing I was, like, not picking up the first time I did it. And then this should now rotate. Yeah, there we go. Dumb. We just get to the boss, please. Please, no more puzzles. All right, good. The lane? Why, that's what your face is saying. I don't understand. I just don't understand. It's, it's the translators, it's fine. We fought side by side to protect Philgaia, right? Then why? You're right. I fought for Philgaia too. I'm no different from you on that point. And what are you thinking? What are you trying to do here? I knew of the threat the Coupier Belt posed before anyone else. To fight the being consuming the world, a large power is needed, almost as large as Philgaia. There are as many opinions as there are people. People aren't strong enough to instantly unify against such an ima unimaginable threat. That's why I created a clearly perceptible threat for people to experience. That was... The terrorist organization Odessa. An easily understood threat disturbs people more easily. What would happen if the Defenders of Justice showed up? Yup, you arms guys showed up. 
rip person that is probably a bot trying to spam a link there. People began to unite across national boundaries. You already know that. To oppose the Kupiar belt, all countries set cooperative policies to fight against it together. The prison of Mana. Trapeziohedron could have been invoked without cooperation from all three nations. Kupiar is pronounced hyper. Like hyper? No, I'm calling it Kupiar. But what you've done is wrong. People have been hurt from your plan. Some have even lost their lives. Who is all to protect Phil Gaia to protect the future of humanity? Can't sacrifice an individual for the larger goal. The lane dot dot dots. If I could have gotten the power to fight, I'd have. I'd have gotten the Argat Lam. I would have taken such measures. Without becoming a hero, I won't be able to save Phil Gaia. What? What is it? It's clear that physical attacks on the parallel universe, a conceptual being, are meaningless. To think of the universe as a life form, consider it a spirit and seal it in a vessel. In essence, the flesh that should have been destroyed is created. It's what I suggested to Odessa. By using the demon summoning my sister will have inside her. By making a compsis a vessel, the abominable life form will... Stop! How far will you go to achieve your goals? Are you saying you offered your own sister as a sacrifice? It wasn't to be a sacrifice, but to be a hero. Not the sword magus, but the Madonna of Destruction. That name is still questionable. Summoned under Valeria's name. So, final boss phase one, question mark? With the Kupiara Kura. Anastasia never wanted anything like this. I don't expect you to forgive me. In order to save Phil Guy, I had no choice. We have to destroy the Kupiar belt on our own before my consciousness gets swallowed up. Is it already too late? I know myself better than anyone else. But it's strange. Even though I know we'll slash each other, I have no fear or regrets. I'm happy. Happy I had the opportunity to be with you all, rather than am sad we won't see each other again. Really happy I got to be with you all. And that we could protect Phil Gaia together. I promised Anastasia that I'd stop Valeria's suffering. Elaine Acomsis. Let's fight together. Um. Let's use Valkyrie. And maybe she'll do damage. I'm hoping she does some damage to this boss. Even if it's just a thousand. Now, wow, completely immune. Big oof on that one, chat. Well, that was Gremlin's one chance, chat. Attacking the middle. I mean, she's got nothing better to do. Might as well as burner meter. Maybe she'll do damage, maybe. There we go. Giant Robo summon. as much as Valkyrie did. I guess it could be worse.
Dark Star Bow. If Ashley gets 100 meter here, this would be huge. This would save potentially a lot of time here. I got diseased. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna get rid of disease right now. I think I'm getting punished for not exploring the dungeon earlier and potentially getting something that would have cured me. Let's just use the safety first aid here. Oh, hello, I outsped Bashley there? Why? I thought Bashley always went first. Yeah, what was... What? Oh, did the boots increase my response speed or something and I didn't notice before? Please, bu please build them to 100 meter. I beg of you. Gremlin being confused literally doesn't matter at all. Perfect. Okay, so this is exactly why I wanted hello in the final fight chat. He's gonna keep the party alive through this nonsense. The gremlin just walked up and smacked him. You know what? That, that damage was okay. It was, sadly, the normal attack was better than her skill. Who would have thought, chat? I mean, I might as well just focus the core. I don't really want items from this boss, so we're just gonna win, I guess. And once he builds up a little more meter, he'll be defensively strong. Alright, so we got diseased again, which is a little annoying. Build meter you're everybody that isn't hello or respite hello I mostly just want to make sure Bashley's at full health because presumably we're going to get into some true nonsense so unfortunately we got uh, power nerfed due to the status ailment we have but it, I imagine this boss will probably die in like a turn or two. We are doing pretty consistent damage to the core. But even with the debuff, like I, I think we'll just power through it at this point. So as long as we heal at the beginning of every turn, I think we'll be fine if there's another phase. Critical is huge here. This could possibly end the boss fight right here. Almost. Like, it's a little baby thing in there. So again, as long as Hello can heal every turn, I think we're fine. So Gremlin ended up actually contributing a little bit to damage, at least. Which is not good with how we have her set up, but it's better than nothing. So she did like 6,000 damage to the main body part. Not like 8,000-ish now. We're, we're slowly chipping away at it. You confused my healer. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. What was that camera angle? Oh, GG. Super anticlimactic, I suppose, but you know, <laughs> welcome to Wild Arms 2, I suppose. Literally spent more time on that puzzle than that boss fight. 50,000 experience, specially leveled. Cool. I mean, that'll help for the inevitable 1v1 BS that we all think is coming. We haven't proven it's gonna happen yet, but it just feels like it's going that way. So I will, I will take any level up I can just to have extra health. Oh. 
almost done. Hey, we won, right? We're able to save Phil Gaia, right? Then why is everyone so sad? Were we wrong? Because we won, we were right, right? Because we won, we were right, isn't a reason. Everything that happened here is a fact. Technically true. That's all there is to it. We didn't win or lose. It's just over. Finished. What? I agree, Blue Donna. What? Why are they acting like this? Is it because they killed the other character that they're moping? Uh-oh, chat. Here it comes. <laughs> are we the baddies? Pretty much. Oh no, chat, we're in the 1v1 dimension. Oh no, it's happening. Are we really doing the 1v1 to end the game? It really is. It really is Rogue Galaxying us. Holy. Rogue Galaxy at least had the courtesy to not puzzle us <laughs> between boss fights. Whoa, what in the world happened? Where is everyone? Where am I? Voice heard somewhere. It's the world where I am born. Oh, oh, excuse me. It's the world where I am. It's where the destruction began. Who are you? Pick up your magic sword and embrace your final battle form, pretty much. Who are you? Lord Blazer. You ask who I am? That's harsh after we've been together for so long and even fought too. No, you're the disaster that turned Phil Gaia red with fire. I've finally been freed from those chains. Great to have a body again. I owe you my thanks. It was my good fortune to live inside your body after being trapped beyond, or excuse me, behind the event horizon. They're in hell, pretty much. The negative feelings that grew inside you during battles. No, 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 during puzzles. It was during puzzles the negative feelings formed. Are now the food that sustains me. My negative feelings? You're saying I helped resurrect you? It's not just you. Swirling inside all humans are the most unsightly and strong energy forces. In your battles, you've seen the true nature of people, and it's that negativity that I feed on. I'll give you the honor of witnessing the world burning into oblivion. Stop it. Now! Are you going to draw it? The, that abominable Argit Lam. That is definitely the absolute perfect sword to destroy me. <laughs> Don't say that, Lord Blazer. Why would you say that? Don't say you forgot that you weren't able to draw the Argit Lam. Okay. Once you had my strength, the strength you tried to destroy, then you finally got the sword. Now that I'm free of your body, you're only a mere human. You cannot draw Argit Lam. Argit Lam is meant to be wielded by the hero of the sword. I, I don't know why he's telling this. I feel like he's about to be destroyed by said sword. Lament the era of no heroes, and live in fear of the future that will burn to smithereens. It's definite I'm not the hero chosen by the sword. <laughs> this one is special. It is special. Then why struggle? Don't resist me. Accept the future. The world we live in. The all-important Phil Gaia. It's not such a puny world that is sustained by the power of only a hero. This world is full of the interactions and exchanges of the people, and their thoughts. So, the power that sustains the universe exists in Phil Gaia. It's the power of all life. Kind of a little bit of a leap in logic there, protagonist, but sure. A time without heroes. That's what you said. No. No, not without heroes, but an era that doesn't need heroes. I can only be killed if you hit my weak point right here, exactly. We don't need a hero. Oh, uh, well, then how are we going to play the Bonnie Tyler song? Don't need a hero. There's no value in a world protected by such things. Everyone's hearts become one. Oh, okay, that, that's pure JRPG right there, chat. Then we can rise and stand together. There you go, chat. Channel your energy. Hold out your hands. We can support the world without sacrificing a hero. Miracles can happen. We can never make the same mistake Villain made.
you go, chat. There you go, send your spirit energy. <laughs> they were like, just say, listen up, people of Earth. Send me your power. I can tell now. Our hearts are becoming one. The Argon Lama isn't something to be pulled out by the hero alone. Okay, chat. So what what nonsense super form am I gonna have to figure out or game over on the final boss? <laughs> I I really dislike games that make me do this. They they're so obsessed with the quote unquote rule of cool, and meanwhile I'm like, what do you want me to do? Blaze of Disaster, Lord Blazer. All right, so let's see what Lord Blazer looks like now that he has a sort of silhouette. Let's inspect our abilities. Oh, look at that. We got long hair. Damn, we went full Super Saiyan. Is that is that figure the hero of the sword? Oh, wrong person speaking. Is that figure the hero of the sword from Argetlam? Let's go. Let's all go fight this together. Plays the disaster, Lord the Redundant. Okay, it had the courtesy of keeping my health high. Sword attack with the power of friends. Blade heal. Air guard. Ups defense. Refresh. So, do I just... I mean, I feel like the JRPG thing would be to attack with the power of friends. I think we could all agree, chat. This seems like... Of all the options we're given, this seems like the way to kill the boss. Let, let's go ahead and use the power of friendship. If, if JRPGs have taught me anything, that that is the right solution. That's it. That's exactly it. The Argetlam isn't a weapon to bury demons. By gathering the will to live into power, it becomes the key to open the door to the future. It's not a power to be wielded alone. It's a power for everyone to wield together. Even though I did it alone, it was pretty much fine the whole time. She didn't believe enough. There we go. Come on, do max damage. We had a cutscene and everything. I did 11,000 to him. Vermilion disaster. Now the question is, how much is he going to do to us? Not that much. I think it's time to do it again, chat. Has it arrived? Has my prayer arrived? If it won't arrive when I pray alone, we'll pray together as one. Everyone, everyone was born on this star and lived here. Here we go, chat. The power of friendship. And it's doing decent damage, at least. I get a flare. So we might have to heal in a little bit. The effect was completely neutralized. I don't know what it means by the effect. But we're going to impulse again. <laughs> Star, pu Star Pupil gets in the flashback over the other characters? Are you kidding me? This is, like, this is like the least likable character. <laughs> oh no. This really is Rogue Galaxy. Everything depends on being alive. Only when you're alive do you get to fall in love or get to fight with others. Tomorrow comes because today's life light starts the creation of the future. Then, this light should be delivered to those battling at the end of today. What a weird way to phrase that. Thank you and goodbye, Star Pupil, question mark. Man, that character had one personality trait. I imagine they're saving the true love for the final one, but we didn't even get our party members on the other one. The effect was completely neutralized. Okay, let's heal. It'd be really awkward to game over here. Disaster. That should give us another meter to impulse again, which is fine. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna defend a couple turns just to build meter. 
Yeah, let, let's build more meter. Oh, now he's just doing the simple attack? Alright, we'll do one more defend. Do we have a super attack beyond that? No. I'll do one more defend. I'll heal and then we'll go in. Hopefully this built enough meter. Eighty-one. I could use it at least three times. He's likely to build two more from attacks. Should be good here. Yeah, pretty much perfect. Let's keep impulsing. Noel says, I can clearly feel it. Oh, now we're really, we're really stretching for this character. Remember the train chat? Clearly the best part of the game. Right now, all the souls in Filgaia are trying to join together. It's stopping all life from fighting simply to keep alive. We're not powerless. We have the strength of our united hearts. Take this power and throw it against the wars confronting you. I'm really feeling it. Exactly, chat. Oh, this might save me a turn of healing. That doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. That's convenient. Can, can we get some more likable characters, please? Okay, that character is slightly more likable. Meryl says, This battle is to save our precious world. That's why we must fight too. We don't need to be protected by someone special. Because it's important. So very important, we must protect it ourselves. Someone has to be the hero. Then anyone should be able to become the hero. The prayers must have reached them, right? Everyone is fighting to protect Vilgaia now. I like that the guy in the wheelchair that basically has like no cognition of like where he is or what he's doing on any given day. He's just been wheeled out there by the other people. Unless he's recovered from his insanity. We'll heal next turn. We're just gonna keep impulsing. I imagine they'll say something like, and now witness the power of true love when it gets to cliche eventually. I notice cliche is not here so far. What stuff says, we're not gonna push it. Oh, so see, we're not going to push it all off on dude. Because it's so important, we're gonna protect it with our own hands. I'm sure we can handle it on our own. If we get into trouble, help us out, dude, okay? When you get into a bind, the young arms can help you out in return. We like the guy just like everyone else. Alright, so now I don't have to heal and I built meter. Like that. We're seeing all the cutscenes. There we go. This is the only one that matters. We're gonna do max damage now. Fiche says, I love it. This world, the life we live, and Bashley. Oh, I like today better than yesterday. I like the unknown tomorrow even more. Let's all head off tomorrow together. Everyone together. Uh oh chat, overwhelming light. Here it comes. Is this the final blow? There we go. The super attack. 999999 GG. The power of cliche chat has defeated it. Which I guess it makes sense. That cliche was <laughs> was how we defeated the final boss. That that works on so many levels, metaphorically and literally. Smashed. And then he dies because he's in outer space and the power of hero is no longer needed. <laughs> the end. Yeah, chat chose that name very well for cliche. Could not end it any differently.
is there an end to this? Do I have to hit a button? Oh, I had to hit a button. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, are we just, we're just gonna watch it rotate for a while? Why didn't that automatically end? That's the first time in any combat I've really needed to do that. Spin, spin! So, it's finally over. We won, right? Ashley won, right? <laughs> He's just spinning in place. I wasn't the one that won. Everyone here and everyone waiting for us, and... Well, it's a victory we won together. I'm not a hero. It's the future we grabbed hold of for ourselves. Come on, give me a break. Don't hassle me. I refuse to ever do such unsuitable work. Let's go home together. Let's all go home to Phil Gaia. There we go. GG, I guess. Wow, we wrapped up on time? To the world we've all been waiting for. I'll have to figure out what to do tomorrow, question mark. Maybe we'll give our final thoughts tomorrow. Play something else afterwards. Well, I mean, I still have like 40 minutes. Honestly, I could still do the final thoughts in that time. I just want to be done before 12.30. Might as well as, might as well as talk about it while it's still fresh in my mind. Maybe, maybe we'll do another one-off game on Sunday morning. Then I'll, then I'll think about if I want to do Wild Arms 3, because this, this game was an experience. It's the, it's the best way to put that. It, it was something that occurred in our lives. We shared it together. <laughs> I like that Gremlin was the first one in the image. <laughs> the most useless party members. Oh boy. So we're gonna try to think of all of our critical thoughts. Or the final thoughts. But when we get to credits, we'll, we'll talk over the credits. That was the moment the strain and tension finally slackened. Slackened. More than having, more than having destroyed the Cooper of Elder Lord Blazer, seeing everyone's laughter again makes me realize it's really over. Seeing everyone's laughter, not hearing, or seeing everyone laugh. But you all aren't the one. Oh, but you all aren't the only ones laughing. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the developers are definitely laughing at me on that one. I have someone waiting for me, and when I heard someone saved a place for me to return to, I broke into laughter too. What? We're now witnessing a group hysteria. We, Our minds have cracked by going in the underground core, and we find this funny for some reason. What said thanks to me, and so I said thanks back. That's not so strange, is it? Why indeed, Blue Donna? Are you sure they didn't mean crack? Crying? I, I I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. Because in that moment, that's what I wanted to say. Hello, <laughs> as a higher being, his senses are all linked. He can see laughter and he can taste words. True. Oh my gosh, Chad! I can't speed up the dialogue, please. <laughs> We're so close. I we're like we're within crawling distance of the credits. We could do a chat. <laughs> Please. I don't need like 14 second dialogue boxes. We're having the opposite of sweeping in. Smile would make sense. A little more sense than what I said for sure. They're giving the I guess quote unquote the 21 gun salute to uh the villain that we absolutely murdered. This two-hour stream felt like three or four. Welcome to Wild Arms 2. That puzzle dungeon was just not fun. The 21 arm salute. I like that. Good one, Murphy. We're almost done, chat. Then we're, we're never going to touch this game ever again. <laughs> and so everything was disclosed. Firm. Firm. Confirm. 
At the beginning, at the end of this battle, was the sin named Valeria. The sin was called a hero. What? You mean a sin named Valeria and you called it a hero? What? The lies in Filgaia survived because of the sin, and its continued life is its atonement. I feel like something has lost the translation there. You're saying the... Do you mean the, the chateau as a whole? Do they call it the Valeria up to that point? It's good for the sin to live on in atonement. Those who, those who can atone are... The cross that is too heavy to bear alone is no longer so when everyone on the star supports it. That last sentence did not go into the sentence. Translators, please. <laughs> They are dot 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 the cross. No. <laughs> Think now, the blood of Valeria. No one needs a hero anymore now that they've realized their might. That's gonna be sacked from chin to top of head on both sides, maybe. Oof. Yeah, this game was very rough. We're, we're gonna have some critical words to say at the end of this. The darkness meant to destroy Vilgaia's future is dismantled. The chant of peace hoped for will be heard. I seem to notice they're, they're liking a lot of use of personification of things that are not normally that, and it comes off very odd sometimes when everybody speaks like that. It just, it doesn't have like any kind of natural flow with the dialogue. Amongst other issues. Oh boy, we're with Cliché, the, the character I definitely cared about. <laughs> right, chat? Fixes in Japanese that remove the translation or something so just like aren't there because the character limits. Yeah, something is very, very off with the translation in general. I feel like the last quarter of the game, like the very beginning of the game and the last well, the last two or three dungeons of dialogue were especially special. <laughs> Indeed, the sun. No matter what you say, humans are strange creatures. Man, I would love being able to advance this dialogue. Besides being frail, people get lost along the way and make false moves. False moves? And then they sometimes don't realize their mistakes and hurt those who are close. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, I, I don't know anybody that would say they've made false moves. At the same time, they know how to link arms and band together. If you ask why, must you answer so? While acknowledging their own weaknesses, when they take aim at a far-off goal, they join hands. Like, there's just, like, those little phrases in there where I'm like, that can't be what they meant. Those who extend a hand and those who can take the hand can't be done without trust. What? Hold on there just a minute. It's not clear if humans are weak or strong from this. You don't have to shake somebody's hand with trust. Well then, I'll try to explain it. A Crimson Noble's time is eternal. I don't know how that sentence answered the other question either. Yeah, like, I would agree it should be bad decision. I fully agree it should be bad decision. For sure, Murphy. 100%. There's just, like, those little phrases in there. And, like, I don't think that's what it is. It's just something about it is just bothering me. So, like, the context of what they're talking about becomes really murky. Because they're talking, like, half gibberish. So 
is the other guy, like, fully recovered now, or... I mean, obviously, he's still in the wheelchair, but I mean, like, mentally. He seemed very mentally not with it at any point in the game. We barely had, like, a cohesive conversation with him the entire game. Trench shows are definitely weren't fluent. They were 100% working at dictionaries. Probably a short deadline on top of that. Yeah. I think that definitely hurt the story big time in Wild Arms 2. The broken clock starts to move to some rhythm. Does it, though? Like, if it's broken, it could just be stopped. Clock that it stopped like that starts to move. No? Stories always start suddenly. Focus your eyes, listen closely, and pay attention. I'm trying, but these sentences are difficult. Exactly, Bulidata. The life starting now is even more unpredictable than the battlefield. But a broken clock translates correctly twice a day. I like that. I was going to make a similar comment, but not. I think you did it better. To be honest, if I were thrown out on my own, I'd be apprehensive. If I were thrown out on my own? That doesn't mean I just stop. Do you mean, like, go out on my own? Why would somebody throw him out at this point? You're on my side. Better still, I have friends who will fight beside me. Next time I'll have them help. A real hero is very cool, <laughs> but I'd never be able to fill that role. So it's all a sham, I guess. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> Did their children come in and translate the last sentence? That's not bad either. <laughs> Heroes are so cool, guys! Like, what? Question mark. I'm glad they don't have dialogue. Don't make me read it. <laughs> right, Chad? I don't, I don't want to read their dialogue. Please, just continue. I, I, I don't care about star people. <laughs> the things to change, to go on from the past to the future, is for time to pass. Like, that whole... Just analyze that whole sentence. Yes, that... that Yes, to go from the past to future does mean time passes. Yes. It is not only me. Everyone will eventually go their own way. Okay, that was way more cohesive than half of the other sentences we saw. Like, I don't know, chat. I know, I'm not crying. I'm okay. I'm cool. Like, that also is fine. That translated fine. There's just some of these sentences are just, like, really out there. Thrown out his van translation of abandoned to dismiss fire. Because it's not goodbye, but till we meet again. No matter where you go, it's not an end, but a beginning. Oh, leave behind would make a lot of sense, actually, in context. Because everybody else is moving on. So yeah, I think leave behind would probably make the most sense, based on what Murphy's saying there. Happy that we're all departing for our new lives together. And now her, now she's tying that thought together. But because they're not using quite the right words, we're playing a what did they really mean <laughs> game, and we're like dissecting it. I mean, I was really lucky enough to meet everyone who I love with all my heart. Th that's the true puzzle. <laughs> The dialogue is the new puzzle, Chad. Will you solve it? So, so far, she is the most comprehensive of whatever you want to consider these dialogues so far. She had, like, one weird sentence that felt, like, really overly redundant. We'll solve it faster in some of the dungeons, true. I'm typing puzzle, yeah. And now they're all going their separate ways. Okay, I understand what's happening here. I can't say the same about half of the dialogue we witnessed today. Oh, right. You're just kind of here now. What is your purpose? The King of Maria Buell has officially announced the dissolution of arms. The small part of me wants to play it again, but in Japanese, just to understand what the heck is going on. Pretty much. Yeah, they're... They, 
If this didn't happen, we all would have eventually pursued our own destinies. The rest of me remembers all the nonsense. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna be super, super harsh on the translation in our review. The day's goodbye isn't sad for me. Even if it was only for a moment, our hearts were once joined together as one. Okay, th this seems a bit more coherent than whatever Kanan was talking about earlier. And even if we were not heroes, we accomplished a major feat. We join our souls, we can accomplish things even a noble hero can't do. This is a pretty long ending sequence. We're going on, I think, almost seven minutes. But that's mostly due to dialogue speed. No matter where we go, if we join our hearts, we'll always be together. Like, I know me reading the dialogue will slow it down, but it's even slower than me reading the dialogue. It's because they didn't have social media. If they had, they would have blocked each other. Yeah. Some of them deserve to be blocked, like star people. Oh, oh, you faked me out. I thought we might have reached credits. Silly me. Foolish fool. <laughs> Super extra toxic. Did she clip into the ground there? Did I witness that correctly? I think she did for a moment. She dipped into the earth. <laughs> she She's going back from when she came. Like, like, what are we meant to be witnessing here? Just their normal life? I mean, their life wasn't really all that different before. Oh, I guess we're getting follow-up on Hostarf, maybe? Oh, no, Protagonist is back. That makes more sense. Well, cliche, have I changed? I still can't advance the dialogue. Sadness chat. Yeah, you have. You're kind of different. You look more mature. I think you're taller. Wait, let's see. Awkward silence, awkward silence, dialogue please. I like she kissed him and his face went very peach. Your kiss is far away. <laughs> okay. Yay. Oh, how obnoxious you make cliche sound. I mean, like, come on. What did she do in the game? Nothing, chat. Oh, we are in the credits. We did it. GG, chat. Game is officially over. Unless there's a post credit scene. I mean, we all knew what role she was going to do in this game. Let's be honest with ourselves. So, I guess, I guess we'll give our summary of what we felt about the, uh... The session, we'll talk about the game in general right after this, but the session. Man, did it really need to be puzzles every two rooms? Did it? Did we really need to go on the wibbly-wobbly platforms going back and forth between the roots? Like, like, what purpose did that serve other than unnecessary padding? Like, the rotating of the skull doors, like, why? Why was that even in there? So many questions. We missed out on the super armors and presumably full Libra, because I think that was the thing in Wild Arms 1. I think that's what it was called. It gave us status immunity. It would have been nice if I did the other part of the final dungeon that was just all annoying long walkways and statue rotations. And I figure out the names of the translators and who to flame. Oof. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I, I would pass out to character on the desk. <laughs> I mean, we were very high level, so obviously we were just going to steamroll the end. I don't think that was a surprise to anybody. We beat, like, what, seven of the nine-ish optional bosses? 
We only skipped uh, Seventh Moon and uh, the Underground one that spams 6k attacks. So it seemed more beatable for sure. We never ended up using the Throwing Weapon, which presumably does a lot of damage. We didn't use a lot of the Medium Abilities. There's just a lot that you kind of have to just test, I think, towards the end of the game. Which definitely dissuaded me from using a lot of the abilities. Like, for example, we had Hello's ability to basically pair up with a Guardian slash Medium. And I'm like, there's so many to learn. I don't know, Chad. I'm not a big fan of a system where, like, especially that late in the game. Like, we got it, like, what, five hours before the end of the game? And we can't even normally build up that much meter unless we purposely tank. So it's like something that's only going to come up maybe in a couple of boss battles total. But like, do I really want the equivalency of like the Final Fantasy X Riku mix list at only the very end of the game? Do you know what I mean? We're kind of like Gremlin where she could have been really good, presumably, if we had her at the beginning of the game. But like we just melee attacked with her at the final boss because the final boss seemed immune to her only abilities that we found. And it's not to say that, like, we couldn't have gotten more, but at the same time, do I really want to go through, like, 17 dungeons and all portions of the overworld to find out which enemies gave the abilities? Because it's not like even Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI Gal, where, like, every enemy has an ability. And it's not like something like potentially like a Final Fantasy Tactics II Advance as in a relation, where more than one thing can give it because each monster is part of a family so they, you might be able to learn it from multiple monsters it seems very specific to one monster gives one ability and then like one in seven in any given area give you one thing which is not really good design so i definitely felt that in the final battle where we found some like we had like five or six abilities because we fought like 60 to 70 unique enemies. I just didn't find the ones that gave us an ability. So it definitely feels like some of this is very much like hardcore strategy guide to not waste like literally dozens of hours to figure out all these combinations or like what obscure monster on this portion of the overworld that isn't the final dungeon results in you getting an ability that potentially like steal status ailments. Or, or lock or cure status ailments or potentially like does high non-elemental damage but i think it's just kind of an unfortunate design principle i think this game very much came off as experimental and i think in some ways it did succeed but i think overall i'm not super thrilled from the first game to the second game why is there more we we saw the rainbow <laughs> a year later don't worry, game. I, I don't care about these characters a year later. It's fine. <laughs> we can move, move on. I'm ready to give final thoughts. I'm ready, chat. <laughs> All right, so we just left Argent Lom in the middle of the hill for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since we've all been together like this. Uh, For us, it was about five minutes. <laughs> the ending that never ends. Yeah, pretty much. I can't believe a year has passed already. Uh-huh. Can you, can you get to the point of this cutscene? I know. <laughs> it's the one-year anniversary of Elaine and Acomsis' death. I love that we named her Acomsis, by the way. That was such a good name. Is it okay like this? Isn't this an important sword? When is the film released? Won't someone steal it if it's just left here on the grave? Well, can't they not draw the sword? Isn't that the whole point? How did they even move it here? It doesn't come out that easily, so it's no problem. Yeah, how did they move it here? Is the protagonist still able to wield it? Sorry, I'm late. Oh, chat's trying to trigger. It's been a long time, Lena. Remember what that command is. I got time between the dialogue. It's Vashley's bad habit to show up late on important occasions. Don't think about it too hard. The Valkyrie Profile 2 strategy. But, 
Oh, how cute! Oh, they have a baby. I wasn't looking at the screen, specifically. Looking up commands. Let's see. Oh, I just said exclamation mark long time, maybe? The blue sky. That's something so common. It could be so important. For me, it's a large enemy. It has been a long time, Leneth. So right. Hello agrees with that, apparently. Let's add another alternate command, since chat was trying to find that. So for Leneth, I'll add in long time. How's that, chat? Now you could do that going forward. The tale of the ordinary continues forever. That's why it's ordinary. I'll even spell Leneth wrong in case somebody typos it. There we go. He was 19, apparently. From the past to the present and... Dot, dot, dot. They'll leave us in suspense game. To the future. Oh, they had like... S All the NPCs have synchronized blinking. <laughs> They're like, one of us. The hero didn't save Philgaia. It's all of us living here in Philgaia that saved it. Look at them, chat. Can you can you look at that? There's like different groups of NPCs that blink together. Weird. I think there's great significance in that. I do too. <laughs> Copy those blink cycles. I love that Bashley doesn't blink though. <laughs> like he's giving the baby the death stare. Hey, hey. You had twins, right? A girl and a boy. Have you decided on a name? Huh? Yeah. Right. Tell me, tell me! This is really going on for a while. What's going on? I guess it's a... Uh, how embarrassing. What did he name it? Oh, don't call them like Vicky 2 and Thesaurus or something, right? What pretty names. What? They didn't say the names. The names of these kids are the sweetest and purest in all Phil Gaia. Wait, but he didn't say a name. What? Translators, please. Oh, that could be true. It could be villain in the compasses. That's true. Really? I guess. I didn't, like, miss a dialogue, right? They just didn't... He just said, oh, how embarrassing. And <laughs> didn't answer the question. Even if they get lost along the way, be sure to protect them. Are, are they trying to sequel bait? Is that what this is? Are they going to be the protagonists of three? We're never alone, right? Right? Ludana's definitely on the Y. He's questioning all of existence right now. I'm not a hero. The protagonist of this endless tale is... Dot, dot, dot. This endless tale is what? Answer the question. What? <laughs> what? So hold on. So <laughs> you didn't tell us the baby names. We saw this awkward scene, and then you're, and then you just left us on a dot dot dot. And it didn't even end with a <laughs> you. It wasn't like a special thanks at the credit. Like was the sword the protagonist? Like what? What was my takeaway from that? It wasn't like and thanks for playing the true hero. Well, uh, what? I don't know what, yeah, what indeed. I don't know what happened there. The extra files for viewing the movie and the data from clearing the game. No, listen, listen, no, 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 no. We've seen the movie that plays every damn time we load the game. 
It's not possible to return the game from the extra file. Recommend either creating a new file or choosing a file to write over it. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I would quote unquote watch the movie, given that it plays literally automatically, unless they mean all movie files. In which case, don't call it the movie. I guess I'll humor the game briefly. What is it talking about? The perfect end for Wild Arms 2. They're just going to see that in the review. <laughs> They're going to be such a lie. <laughs> they can't sense the sarcasm. Okay, so it's all movies. I don't know why they said THE movie. Watch THE movie. Translators, please. I can see all the monsters we didn't fight. There, there were apparently a lot that I missed. But in my defense, like, look how many there are. So, like, when I said there's, like, 200-something enemies to potentially pull from, I don't feel like that was a big exaggeration, honestly. I don't know where these other enemies- Oh, maybe in the final dungeon, I missed, like, 10 or so. The rest, I have no idea where I missed them, to be honest. No idea. 342 total enemies. Actual insanity. <laughs> Perfect camp for all those who just complete nonsense. Yeah, it really was. So I can see how I beat the game. <laughs> I just like that it says bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good summary, too. <laughs> how, how'd you do? What was your character like at the end? Bad. <laughs> right, chat? Like, yeah. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, if I want to rewatch all the movies, we can. But uh, I think we're going to say no to that. So, I don't really have anything to add here that won't go to the final thoughts, so I guess we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube chat. So, I already gave my, my thoughts on the session. I mean, we knew the boss fight was gonna be pretty quick. And it was okay. Like, it was still really not that dissimilar from the optional bosses, which is my complaint of normal attack, powerful single hit, status ailment. Like, do you see what I mean, chat? Like, I, if I say that, like, I could be describing, like, 60% of the bosses in this game. Not every boss follows that pattern, and it's appreciated when they don't do that. But, yeah, every boss really was just the same three moves over and over. So it's just kind of unfortunate. But anyway, let, let's go to Let's Chat, and then we'll also just say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and I guess see you in the review.